International Fabrics has budgeted overhead cost of 900000 It has allocated overhead on a plant-wide basis to its two products, wool and cotton, using direct labor hours, which are estimated to be 450000 for the current year. The company has decided to experiment with activity-based costing and has created two activity cost pools and related activity cost drivers. These two cost pools are cutting, which is the cost driver is machine hours, and design, where the cost driver is number of setups. Overhead allocated to the cutting cost pool is 300000 and 600000 is allocated to the design cost pool. Additional information related to these two cost pools appear in the middle section, which you can see right here to the left of my mouse. So we've got machine hours for the wool of 100000 machine hours 100,000 for cotton for 200,000 in total and the number of setups the wool takes 1,000 cotton takes 500 for a total of 1,500 okay now the instructions are determine the amount of overhead allocated to the wool product line and the cotton product line using activity based costing and then on B we'll answer the question what is the difference between the allocation of overhead to the wool and cotton product lines using activity based costing versus the traditional approach assuming direct labor hours were incurred evenly between wool and cotton. Okay, what I'm going to do now is shrink the question area so we can take a look at the solution to this one and then talk about it. I think if I make it about that small, we should be able to see it just fine. And I'll bring the solution in, and we can take a look at this. All right, so we have two activity cost pools, cutting and design, and the cost drivers are machine hours and number of setups. The estimated overhead was given right here at 300,000 and 600,000. So we drop that in there. To determine the activity based overhead rates, for the cutting, we take 300,000 divided by the 200,000. Okay, so we're taking the 300,000 of estimated overhead cost for the cutting department, and we're dividing it by the total machine hours right there, 200,000, to come up with an activity-based overhead cost rate of $1.50 per machine hour. We use the same procedure to determine the uh, design activity-based cost rate. So we take the total 600,000 cost divided by 1,500, the number of setups, and we come up with $400 per setup. So then if we multiply our rates by the, the activities, we're able to calculate the overhead cost for the wool in the cotton department. So 100,000 of machine hours times $1.50 for each department allocates the 300,000 evenly between wool and cotton. But in the design, we had a $400 setup cost, but we had 1,000 setups for the wool department and 400, or I'm sorry, 500 for the uh, uh, the cotton department, when we multiply it times $400, we get allocation cost of $400,000 and then $200,000. So if, I, uh, if you sum those now, you can see that the wool cost, the total amount of allocated to wool is that five fifty dollars you see right there. And um, to the cotton, it's $350,000. And that's the answer to Part A. Okay, now I've increased the, the problem just because the solution won't take as much room down here and we can read B to the left of my mouse what is the difference between the allocation of overhead to the wool and cotton product lines using activity based costing versus the traditional approach assuming direct labor hours were incurred evenly between the wool and cotton alright so if we used the traditional approach we would take the total 900,000 of cost that's the 900,000 given there, or the 300,000 plus the 600,000, and we would divide it by 450,000 direct labor hours, given right there in the problem, for a $2 per direct labor cost rate. So wool and cotton would have been allocated evenly, versus um, with activity-based costing, we had wool getting 550,000 and cotton getting 350,000. So as a result, um, wool looks 
looks more accurately to be or look, looks to be costed more accurately based on ABC approaches of 550,000 instead of 450 where cotton um, looks like it should be 350,000 versus 450,000.